It was too fast, too nice. And now that obviously I know that something's up, I also fully believe that the the memory that the way that it probably happened was that Sunday realized that he was losing in the fair fight that he gave us. And so he basically pulled us into the consciousness that he did with Welt and Robin. And um, because why would... Um, why would... Jing and Don have to go into the memory scape, the dreamscape, in order to save us. Why? Because then they'd just be pulled in too. It just seems odd. Alright, Black Swan, what the hell did you see? Hey! Not another one. Not another one. Thank you so much, Black Swan. Not another one. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, what is this place? The deja vu is strong with this scene. So, what happened? I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, it's essential to know that... That... This place is the rift between dream and reality. Okay. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Who is Enna? Do you Anna? remember Sunday's ambitious plan? He intended to harness the power of the Stellaron, the collective will of over 100,000 Oak family members, and the desires of everyone in Penacone to usurp the harmony and restore the order. Yes? Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron. That strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. All of this is just a dream. Did I fall asleep on the express? I'm now back at the beginning of the story? I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world, allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. Okay. And that included a lot of Memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality. And reality became an illusion. People think they are awake, but their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. Oh, cool! So we're all this being is what brainwashed. Makes Anna's dream so powerful. And so Anna is the name of the in order. In this paradise governed by the order, everyone indulges in their delightful dreams and lives happily ever after. Yeah, I don't believe in happily ever after. I believe so. what you experienced in the sweet dream, except for that flaw was real. Only in this way could you reach the destination, lifting the crisis in Penacone and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. Okay, well, what was her plan? Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. Oh. This is also why you felt a sense of peculiarity when traveling with her. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is. Even if I'm a memo keeper, I was still influenced by the power of the Order and fell into hallucinations. Until you saw my light cone. However, thanks to your memories, now we still have a chance to turn the tide. Do I get to have them on my team? For mortals. I like both they of possess them. the great power of a path. They can't create a flawless world like gods do. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, you'll have a chance to break free from the dream. Well, from that dream. The flaw but we're in still your in a dream. dream lies within Misha, who could have never appeared in reality. When I turned the pages of oh, your memories, I guess that does make sense. I realized that I it wasn't was in an when I met too. him. 
because I was in the dreamscape. It was when we were outside and we were in that lobby, right? Yeah, we saw Misha in the lobby. We still have a fighting chance, so we lost. Didn't expect it all comes back to Misha. We now still got Sunday a fighting chance. Now Sunday has usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Anna's dream, transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. Failure doesn't mean weakness. Only the strong can gather the will to resist the order and try to break free. We still okay. have a chance, though. To make it happen. Please, Black Swan, guide us to those with a strong will. All right. Please come with me. Thank These people you. are. They're the ones who accept Anna's dream and indulge in their happy illusions. Yeah, y'all keep we have enjoying no means that. To wake them up now. Not even your clockwork will do the trick. However, there are still other things we can do. Oh. Let's keep going. I wonder if I went the wrong way. I bet I did. I did. Sorry, guys. I gotta walk by you again. Excuse me. Pardon me. I really thought we were much closer to the end than we have, than we are, so I'd like to get going. A trotter, really? Ah, oh, we got this music back. What a treat. You won't get away. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Relax. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descends. Ah, uh, yeah. Ha! Say bye to breathing. It's gonna Good time. Rain. time to say bye. Boom. Stand still. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. You won't get away. Relax. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descends. Okay. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I have something for you. I think I'm just I think I'm just slowly coming to terms that Penacony is never gonna end. Penacony's never gonna end. Hold, hold the on. The human body is beautiful <laughs> in its fragility. <laughs> Alright. Oh am I still going? Oh, that's because I got turned around from the fight. Never mind. I was about to say, I hope I still go. How the fuck am I supposed to leave this area? Exactly. Am I, was I supposed to go that way? Try using clockwork? Oh, okay. I guess I can try using clockwork real fast. It would be interesting to see how it goes. Their eyes simply droop as they giggle like a fool at only God knows what. Satisfied. Welcome to the paradise. Your clockwork? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why the game wanted me to try that. Excuse me. I think I'm supposed to go this way, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Fucking fuck. screw it! I don't know how to get to the freaking lobby. I'll do it this way. The hell's the lobby? Not you. It's up more. No, it ain't there either. Hold on, I'll figure it out. Okay, there. I want to go there. Just get me there. I don't know this place. Please. Here we are. Finally. 
You've arrived. Yeah, nothing good's Let happening. Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will. And it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In the dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. Oh, what is that? Brother betrayal? Because I think it does still. To look it up in a cage. Oh. I want to see it fly freely in the sky. Without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive on its own. Do you want it to die? No, but... <sighs> so Sunday killed then the bird? Let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even if they may crash on the ground one day, they shouldn't be trapped oh, in Oh, his cage. agreement? His agreeance to it? <laughs> Birds belong to the sky, so we should help them return there, right? Okay, that was her flaw. The illusion was so impossibly blissful that I realized it was just a dream. And this is our final hope. Anna's dream is founded upon the Harmonious Choir, namely everyone's shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Penacony merge as one. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, we must make everyone in Penacony want to wake up. So we have now to make the, the nightmares? Part. How do we do it? Make everybody nightmares. That doesn't sound simple at all. Maybe we should just go back to Enna's dream. I'm curious too. Uh, nightmares. Just give everybody nightmares. Humans yearning for sweet illusions borders on obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. Yeah. Therefore, I carefully selected a moment where he was completely unguarded, guiding him to uncover the truth himself to make him regain his consciousness. Oh. However, to wake up everyone in Panacone and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an eon. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. Oh my god, of course these two are up. Hey, I'm so glad this I can continue to hear your for the whole universe. great cursing. Who cares about some dumb number? You've woken up too. Well, well, well. Someone enjoys making a dramatic <laughs> entrance. Thanks to Black Swan. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And thanks to the Memo Keepers in Penacone too. I believe your partners have also awakened from their dreams. This is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will, like you, will gradually awaken from the dream. Kay. These free wills are the discord that will sway Anna's dream. However, awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. If breaking through from the inside proves challenging, we can seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria and the remarkable phenomenon known as synesthesia dreamscape, when people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. Oh, okay. This moment, there is only one dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean, if we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core? However... Those outsiders might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the Order instead. The real challenge is, how can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time? 
Are we back? The Jade Ab kiss of allying oath. We're back to the Jade the Abacus solution. again. No. We're gonna. We're... No need for that. Keep your once in a lifetime treasure. No. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. You, you want thousands of people with unwavering free will. <laughs> That's easy. Who are you thinking Let's about, Boothill? us, Galaxy Rangers. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive and disconnected individuals. Oh, that would actually, also be why everybody forgot Acheron right. at the bar. And because she had already woken up from uh, Anna's dream. Us. Do you know what it is, Acheron? It's the relic I returned to you. Oh! Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a Galaxy Ranger. And that it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Is it you? Because it's a burial artifact. Worthy only of a hero who has served the Galaxy Rangers with honor. When its light illuminates the universe, it means the fall of a hero. And in the direction it falls, countless meteors will streak across the sky. Those meteors are Galaxy Rangers, coming from all corners okay. of the cosmos, driven by a shared purpose, without questioning the cause or counting the cost. Because we abide by a bottom line there's like several bottom lines that the you guys abide by the the hunt only descend on the longest night and with them comes the dawn we've stayed silent for far too long now it's time to remind all the cowards oppressors and villains of the universe the order presence. is a really big oppressor so it makes sense to use it now first spark once the dreamscape is swayed I'll complete the second step. I'll fine-tune the slumbering souls with the Song of the Harmony, interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the Harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Penaconi themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Let's hope. Their path of happiness should be forged by themselves. While I may not be a nameless, I'm willing to instill courage in all those who need it. This includes my brother as well. So much for thinking that I needed to change the Panacone song. It's like change the Panacone cool song. And everyone else. Your plan sounds well conceived, but still, it appears somewhat idealistic and romantic the flaws rooted in human nature can't be eradicated overnight Whoop. Do you and believe it honestly these never will alone are enough to convince everyone to choose the right path i agree with you black swan that's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path but to inspire them to save themselves. Okay. <laughs> so, you're the key in the end. Yeah, if you I don't assume. want me to gut you, you better wake the up. The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. She now did that our roles are assigned. She did let's get to do what she wanted to do. A grand finale. So this might be like a self-sacrifice coming from her end. May I have a moment alone with you? There's one more thing I need to explain to you. I'm not coming out of this. This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Panacone. Seriously, I need this song. This song I want on the thing. Whatever this is. Whatever we're facing are prepared, this is where Firefly uncovered the truth. Your words still carry a profound significance. 
I have faith in you. However, before we depart, there is one more thing I must tell you. Okay. I'm good. Just keep talking. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream and find the key to breaking free from the dream. All because of one person's Firefly? unwavering dedication. Firefly? Firefly. Yep. She awakened from the dream ahead of others, discovered the Express amidst the stars, and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. Her third death? As you know, Firefly is a stowaway who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in oh. one way. A real death. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what, but our resolve should match that of that courageous lady. Yeah, I guess. Basically, basically it means once we defeat this, it's Firefly's dead. That's it. Fi Firefly's gonna die no matter what. Very well. Now, please close your eyes. As long as I don't have to see it again. <laughs> oh, and on the eighth day, we say go fuck yourself. This makes better sense. Team must include Toji Harmony. Well, then you better give me Toji Harmony. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Amy. Uh, well, I guess we're not gonna bring in Black anything, Swan please. then. Don't hesitate to ask. Oh, he's 68 because of the story. Thank you so much. Oh, oh the wait, don't press there. Crew. Don't Looks like we'll be joining the healer there. Quite thank often, you. Huh? If I don't put the healer there, I'm gonna fuck up buttons. Oh, we meet again. Uh, yep, I think we're good. No black swan for this one. <sighs> Let's just go. Hey, Sunday. Oh, I heard you're a little bitch. Nope, never mind. That's not Sunday. <laughs> My bad. If I remember correctly, it has lasted for decades. Or even centuries. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. But thankfully... We've guided those lost souls to their lives beyond. They were heroes in their time. And they won't be reduced to puppets of the nihility in their death. Except for me. You Poor see, old Akron. The shadows on the sea have vanished. Do you remember? He once said that the sky would clear when the regrets of the departed had faded away. But... It's still raining. I know. So, why is all this? Because of you. Why did this rain choose me? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. Yeah, his. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean, leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Oh boy. Sin thirsters. The obsessions of the path striders. Sin thirsters? They emerge from the depths of Ix, seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny, unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. Oh. They emerge That's from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms, they have journeyed with me for such a long time. Oh. Hmm. So this is how it is. I, I'm already dead. Yeah. Yes. 
You're a sin thirster. Are you watching over me? This is my duty as the watcher of the Acheron. I'm oh. guarding the path to the abyss of the Nihility, guiding every soul reluctant to become one with it. Back to this side. Great. So that's what she does. This is what the <laughs> she brings them back expected. to the nihility. Oh, I know. Should you try to change it? I Can she? But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment came, he hoped that someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. Even if it doesn't make sense at all. Even then. Some tasks have to be done. Even if they are pointless. I have experienced that much already. Please extend your hand and then close your eyes. Mm. I'll carry your wish with me and fulfill it. Only then will I be able to put an end to the final regret by the Dead Sea. Will I ever see them again? Yes, that is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express, your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm. Oh shit! Your narrow escape from death. And your encounter with the Galaxy Rangers. Fuck, which, which, which nameless was that? And Panacone. The hometown to which you could never return. Oh. Yeah. For countless times, I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Oh. Okay. Tiernan, that's who it is. There. Take well? my hand <laughs> and come with me. We will leave this place. Ew. You'll embark on a long, long journey, shrouded in darkness. But fear not. As a touch of red will be awaiting you at the end of the path. That's well. the color of existence. Follow it, and it'll guide you and illuminate the way out. By doing so, you'll eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. My death be the end. Of your boundless dream. Uh, the red guide text is the guide to the waking world. Is the guide uh, are the real world real Welcome words that are helping to the horizon you of find existence. the way. This place is one of the thousands of manifestations belonging to the sleeping and shapeless, and it's also an exit out of the nihility for the awake ones. Let's bid our final farewells here. Wookie! Say your final farewells to Acheron. I don't want to. I really do like Always Acheron. distinguish between reality and imagination. All right, Gray. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where men uh -huh. your schemes be forever. And his dream. To the imperfect tomorrow. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why, Why does, does life, life slumber? slumber? Okay. We don't know the answer yet. But we're about to awaken from this dream. Yay. Or perhaps... Are you sure? Such is the answer itself. Leave this place. Return to where you belong. And... Awaken... Panacone from this dream. I'll do my best. Will you come with us? What if folks don't want to wake up? Will I get to witness your hidden power? As I said, 
Our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose the right path, but about inspiring them to save themselves. So, when will people actively save themselves? On the edge of death. The answer is when they are in desperate situations. Mm -hmm. So she's like going to become the desperate situation. In the deep sea. When one's body and mind bear immense pressure, agony, confusion, and despair will follow. I firmly believe that. The fragility of humankind often freezes them in their tracks. But in truly desperate situations, they will strive to save themselves. And now, Panacone has enough heroes to lead them forward. Yeah, we'll see. It's through this inherent, self-centered instinct that people exert their utmost effort, even when they know their struggle is fruitless. As absurd as it may seem, it's their resistance. As for now, it is time to guide them, not as a savior, but as a nameless among those mortals. I'll do my best In this way. with my hat and dance tap uh, with you my hat and night. tapping shoes. That's not the, the name. Sunlight. I don't know the name of the shoes, the like those special shoes that you wear for tap dancing. Intensifying. Before we part ways, please allow me to ask a few final questions. Sure. So far. You have forged unbreakable bonds with numerous individuals and entities in the sweet dream. Might I ask Ooh. if you fear severing these bonds with your own hands? I feel no fear. Yeah, because I guess if in there this... is a vast, lifelike nobody's dream gonna that is will nobody remember indistinguishable them? from reality. A realm without death. Where everyone can attain the happiness and fulfillment they deserve, living blissfully ever after. I would ask, uh, would you wish to stay? I would never, I would never want to stay. Personally, me, never. I would never want to live in a dream. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends. Family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Kind of Elio's thing? I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I'm glad. The answer itself doesn't matter. What matters is that you've made a decision. There really wasn't much of a decision Listen, to make, but touch, uh, sure, I made one. Ponder. And therein lies the sensation. Cherish it, because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, rendering any lofty convictions insignificant under their imposing shadow, and behind this shadow, oh, we are slowly zooming in. There must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. I would assume so. Just as every life that edges closer to death fervently approaches the end of the nihility, we must pursue that primordial light. Okay. Now I come to think that you exist in the nihility. And you watch over others to depart it. And she's stuck there. Such a task is absurd and meaningless. Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned, even if it's a meaningless task, I've 
come this far, haven't I? Even if the future you forge may not even belong to you. It may not belong to me, but it definitely belongs to someone. Yeah, I see a lot of self-sacrifice coming from her Hardships soon. you must have experienced. When it ain't gonna end there. In that case. Oh shit, ad break's gonna start soon. Allow me to do something meaningless to the relic again? Please. Oh. Tell me your name. Your real name, please. Perhaps my existence will vanish in the next moment. And nobody will remember this conversation. Unless you are a third person person watching from a video game's perspective, I fucked that up bad. Your name should be remembered. Yeah, she's right now the most self-sacrificing person. We'll remember it as well. For me, some things are difficult to recall. Yet there are others that I find challenging to forget. Such is memory, a creation of the past that blossoms into significance in the distant future. I remember that marks the start of my journey, the origin of the vibrant red hue in my life, and the most fervent element amidst every tempest. That's my name. That's... Raiden. Ozen Mori. Nay. That is a great name. The golden dream is getting restless. It's time to go. It's time to move. In the coming long nights, I'm afraid you will face many setbacks and witness many tragedies. Yeah, that and in the end, makes sense. You will only see in black. But please believe me, that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. I love this animation. Holy shit. What you must do is ponder its significance, then return to the waking world. Oh, Akron's so cool! <laughs> and I didn't even know all of her shit yet. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Broken free from the dream of order. I have. We've done enough sleeping already. Let's show them a wake up call. May as well kill them all. <laughs> Noisy. For an overhaul. Yeah, this is definitely making a Good lot times. more sense. Time to say bye. With the fight, it's not feeling as like you won't get away. Holding Jesus and having Himiko makes a difference. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. But it's still the sacred art order. How can the yeah, you know be that. Righteous? Clicking the tapon the but it's not a baton, oh my god. Doing that little motion is basically just Pythia again. Wow, her name came back to me. It's Pythia again flicking me. Stay alert. Don't let his tune distract. Say bye to breathing. Yeah, we're doing fine, don't worry about it. I'm just talking. Talking talking. Stand still. 
like the fact that you came back from your little thing there. Get away. <laughs> good music. As always, good music. Weakness is not defined by you. Uh-huh. Maybe I'll just hit Disorderly noise. My objection. Feel free to make your case. Eh, I already have a shield though, so you kinda suck. The noise is fading. Gotta stop the bleeding. To travel. Do it now. Thanks. You're too good to me. Relax. I have some good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. I am super glad though that we did not use the Jade Abacus. I am super glad. That would have sucked. Did it not hit the bitch on the right, really? Hey, I was supposed to be protected. That's rude. Stand still. Time for an overhaul. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. But yeah, I'm glad, even though he's using it, like, <laughs> as a fallen thing. I don't know. I don't think the Galaxy Rangers think somebody has fallen. Well kill them all. Uh, even though that's the whole point of that. I think they are still gonna realize, though, that something bad is happening, for the most part. Which is why they're showing up. Didn't hurt. Oh, wish. Oh, uh-huh. I'm so glad for you, buddy. Wake up! You won't get away. Let's play our own. Let the show begin. Oh, I actually got the dialogue for him this time. I haven't had his dialogue yet. Mm, not good. Okay, good. <laughs> we can heal, we can heal. Much obliged. <laughs> Gotta keep Himiko up. Say bye to breathing. She's the one that is making a difference. <laughs> Good times. Time to say Three bye. Three freaking phases though, and I'm already hurting this bad. I don't feel like it. Much obliged. I just have to say, I don't feel like it. Can you stop? Relax. Such a great time. <laughs> the noise is fading. Even the dreamscape is indistinguishable from reality. Can it still be called an illusion? A little? Huh. Noisy. Deeper. Thanks. You're too good to me. <laughs> Man, I would really love it if we could get Let's play heels. Our own melody. Heels. Heels. Let the show begin. <laughs> Is this triggering you to be a bitch? Oh, well, I guess it's technically second phase. Okay, can you not? Oh. Music. Yep, it's Robin. It's her time to come in. There seems to be another kind of sound coming into the Order Symphony. Ah! 
Panacone's first and last disharmony. How'd she get the help of the Astral Express? Press to use Horizon's echo from afar to attack Those enemies. Those imprisoned in their dreams are awakening for freedom. Oh, he hit him with the tree! <laughs> Is that you, see? Holy shit, we're hitting him with the train! You have heard their cries. This is not the paradise they hoped for. Even so, they don't know where they should be heading. That's why I have to become the lone star nah. in the sky to guide them. Even if that star must hang in a perpetual night of solitude. Oh my god, we have all of our ults. Uh, let's do that, let's that, play our own melody. that, that, and then hold everything the else. Begin. Perhaps you still don't Back up dancers. Anything never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Noisy. Yeah, well, you've asked for it. Stand still. I wasn't on who I thought I was. Shit. May as well kill there we them go. all. Much better. <laughs> Relax. I'll take the lead. Uh. Yeah, I think it's best to just hit it. The noise is fading. <laughs> Sink into a dream. Keep up with me. Stand still. Have a train. The will of the weak. Good God. It just does so much. <laughs> it's just so funny. Time to say bye. important to do it. Still the same one. All things are part of the melody. Eternal prayer. To travel. Tempesto? Much obliged. I think is how it was wanting me to say that name. <laughs> Not sure though. I don't think it is. Let's bounce Listen this up. shit. Let's play our let the show begin. That's an inside. Relax. Oh, that was so close to being done. Are you kidding me? Alright, can you like You won't get away. Not do that. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. Never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'll take the lead. Stand still. Here, try this. Much obliged. Have a train. Good time. Time to say bye. Boom. If we had never experienced solitude, how could we have embarked on different paths? Now, our final talk has concluded. I'm sure it has. I have more trains to send your way. creation has been completed. The inevitable day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy will reshape for us all of reality. Good lord. If your paradise can save more people, sever my path with your hands. I swear truth. Reduce the enemy's toughness. Um, you're in the way. Every time you break a layer of enemy toughness, you can gain a collective shield. Yeah, thanks. 
Break as many layers of enemy toughness as you can to gain collective shield and resist damage. Yeah, I know. I haven't been doing great on that. Stay alert. Don't let it stop. May I honor I swear. I gotta do it. Much obliged. On the fourth I day, sure. To heed my uh -oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, thank you. Still. Um, trying here. Six day, great. Uh, cool. This is about to hurt big time. That created you. Hey, have a tree! Have a noble soul! Don't be shackled by the past! I don't think that helped gain me any shield, but I'm to have to do it. Yeah, that's great. Let the show begin! Here, come in! Thanks. I'll take the lead. Good to me. Relax. I really hate how many layers you have, my guy. This is ridiculous. to achieve the burdens we promised. The order is not the only choice. True happiness. The meaning of light. Lie and defying the nihilist. Oh, finally, we're on the last layer of toughness. Good God! You won't get away. Stand still. Much obliged. May as well kill them all. Wake up! Listen, I know these fights tend to be, like, an easy win, but I'm still always concerned about it. Soon. I'm always concerned. Thanks. You're too good to me. I swear on truth. Did his wings on his head become his arms? I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm the circuit dude. Listen up. Stand still. I really hate how many days you go through so quickly, my king. I'll take the lead. Let's play our own. Let the show begin. I swear on meaning. May as well kill them all. I did it again. I wasted that. That's fine. I realized the first time I did this that it didn't really do much um, the damage of the thing. Good times. Time uh, to say calm down, man. Boom. I have something for you. Ooh, we got just another one for us. Ooh, that time we countered a lot of it, which is nice. I love it. Say bye to breathing. I swear on truth. I should really read up how the uh thing works on Toji's buffs there with the harmony path. I really need to know. never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Weakness is not defined by you. Wake up! And then it is Monday. Finally, we're free. We're free from so, Sunday. The first time I'm ever happy to see a Monday. Why does life slumber? Because... We have an answer? Someday.
We will wake from our dream. Well, <laughs> is it over? In the first year, <laughs> good lord, AE 2158. A fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams. Who's talking? Soon faded in chaos and destruction. Whispers carried the tale. Young of those Sunday, fateful 40 I think it's young system Sunday. hours when a sun teetered on the precipice of collapse. A paradise stood on the brink of destruction, and a world was poised to surrender to its new master. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed for long separation. And so, an eon succumbed to slumber once more. Some celebrated this fall, while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses, mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe. It was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. Did Ina really need a demise with dignity? As the cosmos bathed in the radiance of a pure dawn. A tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon. The chant of all for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. So... The tale of the Astral Express reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter. It's because we're in the Amber era. Everybody likes the Amber Lord, right? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to get from that? Brother, I'm finally asking about it. The stars will fade away. Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like a bird, the Torrid Eagles. Looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the Torment Eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Peniconi and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, Mikhail, I think stars this one's Mikhail. do die, just like people. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. That is true. Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever, and its name will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars, or maybe even more. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. This is our promise. And nothing will sway our ideals. I'm sure yeah, it won't. You bet. Absolutely nothing. Are you like you just keep pulling my leg? All right, you just keep pulling my leg, and keep you're doing it again. You're doing it again. You're doing it again. How can I believe it like this? I also love the fact that because we still don't know March seventh, um. 
everything. It's still question, 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 question. Wait, oh wait. Acheron, Acheron's probably had her name in it. I don't believe it. Jade, Jade is the other one that I'm thinking of. I was right. You cannot make me believe it when you're giving me this shit. An ex-surveyor aboard the Astro Express and a young scholar brimming with enthusiasm and curiosity. Hailing from Zarina Earth system, enlightened by remembrance and dominated by academic cliques, her, she majored in memoria dynamics. Seek out broader academic possibilities, she joined the crew of the Astro Express to build as data and launched her research into memoria towards the end of the War of Independence. She piloted a shuttle on her own and disappeared into the memory zone in search of other secrets from the primordial dreamscape. Her research results from, from the theatrical Beatrice... I can't... I'm not gonna keep up with that. Fuck it. Y'all pause, read if you want when my head's not in the way. I ain't gonna be able to keep that. I think it's just the same shit that we talked about before. Yeah, everything that we kind of learned through the whole Pentacony thing. Oh my god. The Watchmaker was his greatest lie of all. And Pentacony's festivities was his final lie? Okay. I don't know about Panacone remaining in res remains resplendent in its glory. I don't know about that. I think Panacone is finally done. But not the way that those credits lead. Why, why are we getting credits when I talked about credits earlier? I don't like that. It's a pleasure to hear your voice again. Congratulations. Oh, we're with Adventurine. Biggest winner of this festival. Are you calling just to poke fun at me? No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Penacony and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef, but you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. Remember the recording you received from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Just as I expected. So is Diamond planning to demote me? Or kick me out of the Ten Stone Hearts? How would she know? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, all right. Then I'll guess. He's going to promote me to P46? All right. What will you wager? Why? Are we talking about an actual bet here? <laughs> I don't want to wager anything just so that you can swindle it all in the end. But if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life, ma'am. Interesting. But since it's Diamond's call, no one can predict the outcome. Uh huh. I'm on my way to Penacony. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. Oh boy, another it sounds like one. I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back. And relax? Yeah. Leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you. As soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Huh? Okay, so does Penicone have like six seasons? Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Oh. Boot Hill. So many surprises today. Didn't expect a Galaxy Ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. Mind your One business. Who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo, I just put him to sleep. Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. 
Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't I like the way you put that. <laughs> a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest now, or I won't think twice about putting a bullet in your fudging head. There it is. Our wonderful cussing's back. Tell me, where is Oswaldo Snyder? Head of Marketing Development Department? Wake up! Wake up! Hey, wake up! The sun's frying your butt! Well, at least we're coming out of the Are pool this okay? time. Are you okay? Can you hear me? I didn't hear a peep from your room, and it really freaked me out. Oh, this conversation is such a deja vu. What are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? The Order's dream is over. <sighs> Even though it's been a day, I still break into a sweat when I think about it. It's been Our a day and I was still sleeping. Almost ended in Panacone. Nobody wanted to come get me sooner. I'm so jealous that you got a good night's sleep. I was traumatized and too scared to even Okay, close so my we did eyes. sleep normally. Why did we sleep in there I though? Fell asleep. I'd never wake up again. What happened to the Stellaron? Where are the others? You'll have dark circles under your eyes. Uh, they've already left. Leaving this kind-hearted girl to wake you up. You owe her big time. Eh. The Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. Thanks. The ordinary people in Penacony have no idea what happened. They just feel like something's missing from their memories. The family's official statement was like, The Charmony Festival was attacked by an unidentified Stellaron and came to a halt. Mm. After all, they can't just reveal the truth about the Order. Now, all the major lineages, except for the Oak family, are dealing with the aftermath. The family has invited the crew to the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. Okay. Everyone's waiting for you, so hurry up and pack. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Alright, that's how I stretch. When I need to do posture check, that's exactly how I stretch. Because, honestly, it helps the most uh, because of being on the upper back. And on the eighth day, I'm still in fucking Panacone. Mourns like these? Do you think that's the song? In the end, we awaken from our dreams. New dreamscape passbook. Really? Did we need more? Did we need more? I don't think we needed more. Oh my god. Aideen. Oh, Mr. Toji, my dearest festive superstar. How have you been recently? Your performance at the venue was so spectacular. It broke our festival's viewership record that endured for half an amber era. Oh, oh. As a token of our admiration, we've prepared a special gift for you. Unfortunately, this gift has caused an incident. And do you... And we really need your help. Do you have the time to come along? Oh... Uh, come right along. Okay, gifts! Hold on, I'm coming. Other than who knows what the gift is. I'll be at the Scorch Sand Live studio waiting your arrival. I'll just, like, clear out these messages while I wait for the thing to go away. Uh, greetings, Trailblazer of the Express. I am a member of the Bloodhound Investigation Team. After the Sunday incident, multiple areas of the Grand Theater fell into chaos due to the influence of the Order. Even within the entirety of the Bloodhound family, there were scarce members capable of handling such a situation. After much deliberation, we are unanimously, we una unanimously agree to invite you to serve as an associate commissioner to participate in certain aspects of the investigation work. Due the, to the urgent nature of the situation, I shall be waiting for you at the Grand Theater. Compensation is negotiable. Okay. Just clearing out all the new stuff. And I have so many side quests that are coming out of this world that it'll keep me busy for days. The story of Panacone. The land of the dreams finally had its curtain call. The nameless, the siblings who turned on each other, the emanator of Nihility, the IPC's envoy. Too many past striders have stepped onto the stage, seeing themselves as the protagonist and wove their respective beliefs and acts together so collectively to collectively form this grandiose tragic comedy. Yet the emotions on the stage do not represent the whole play. Someone has to stay backstage from the beginning till the end, and I am 
one such individual. Why don't you play a simple game? Guess who I am. You must be someone I know. You give me an unfamiliar feeling. I have no idea. Sure, you must be somebody I know. I don't care that much, though, my guy. I don't care. Gotta get to that 100%. Oh. Do we get a note sticker? Nope, apparently we don't get to 100% here. The hat. I don't need it though, so... Who cares? Anything else new? Yep. Misha! All right, March. <sighs> After all this craziness, nothing is better than staying safe in reality. What is the radiant? Okay, let's go. Let's yeah, go. let's go. We've got some time before we board the ship. Oh, I should have so actually done that. I forgot that I'm not really doing side quests. It would have been actually nice to learn all that. It's fine. I'll live. Hey! How extravagant. Just like Epsilon. How was it? Did it live up to your dreamscape expectations? I think you so. You already asked that when we first got here. Yeah, and you said no back then. But after all this madness, I'd say you've grown fond of it. Oh, just a heads up, you're still on the Bloodhound family's wanted list, so keep a low profile. Okay. And this time, it's Firefly in the picture, not Sam. That's gotta be a whole new experience for you, right? Indeed. In Kafka's words, that's also a missing part of my life. Still... It'd be quite inconvenient if I can't move freely. Could you help me out, Silverwolf? I knew you'd say that. Don't worry. I've hacked all the systems and left no trace. Don't do anything that may draw attention, and don't talk with guards. They might recognize you. Keep these two points in mind, and you can go wherever you want, unbothered. Why thank you, Silver Wolf? <laughs> thank you. No problem, Miss Samuel. <laughs> I love this fake name. Now that we're done here in Penacony, what will you do in your free time? I hear the Genius Society is here. They're How actually about here? Stir up some excitement. Well, you know, my script isn't over yet. Yeah, I haven't died yet. <sighs> I didn't bring you back to hear an answer like that. Don't worry. The script says that I'll experience three deaths, but also receive an unforgettable reward on the planet of festivities. How will I know if I don't try? All possibilities exist until the outcome actually happens. Right? You may not realize it, but you have a bad habit. Whenever you seem to be asking a question, you've already made up your mind, and no words will dissuade you. It's fine. Anyway, totally Kafka normal. asked me to pass on this message. If you see anything fabulous in Penacony, get one for me too. Just swipe my card. You know the pin. <laughs> hmm. She didn't specify anything, but I guess she means a dress, coat, sunglasses, or something else you know better about fashion than i do i don't sure. i'll keep an eye out there's tons of options at ot mall <gasps> do you think she'll like trinkets like uh hair accessories or brooches uh, those sound more like something for young girls maybe you should keep them for yourself oh by the way blade wanted you to be more careful he didn't 
explicitly say it, but I think he was trying to say something like, Temptation will show up again in Panacone. <laughs> He's always so subtle with his words. Got it. He was just worried about me. Relax, Silver Wolf. You know me. I won't do anything crazy. I just want to wander around and see more of the world for myself. <gasps> I want to buy some oat cake rolls. I've had a cake roll every day since I arrived in Penicone, from the first day to the last. But today, I'll buy two and give you one. And if you don't like them, I'll enjoy double the pleasure. Or I can bring one to Kafka, as she never refuses. Or maybe I'll give it to Blade. He'll appreciate it. That's not written in the script, right? But as you see, I have added new footnotes to my destiny. Good for you. Good. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you know what? I'm glad I changed my title to what Welcome. it is. Penacone never ends. The family ambassadors are still inside making preparations, but the big boss hasn't arrived yet. It'll be a while before the conference starts, I'm afraid. Huh, quite a spectacle. The family really knows Wait, is how to Boot make Hill looking look for impressive. her? I don't I remember her actual title. A more formal is Boot Hill looking for her? Location for the conference. I didn't expect them to go with a luxury airship. About this, Director. I've asked around. This airship, named uh, the Radiant Feldspar, belongs to the Alfalfa family. This conference between the IPC and the family will have a direct impact on Penacone's future. Such an important event should have been held at it. <sighs> well, somewhere secretive in the moment of morning dew. The atmosphere here, it doesn't feel serious. Thomas, enough. mind your business. Hmm. If I'm right, this conference is probably just a prelude. Whoever organized it wants to assess the IPC stance beforehand. Yeah. This influential figure either has their own ambitions and wants to reach a preliminary agreement, or they plan to put pressure on us to make us back off. Oh, your mind is always so sharp, Director Topaz. And when the big boss arrives, please remind her to be cautious and watch out for any traps. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, but oh, maybe I don't it think is Jade. Though maybe it is when Jade that he's looking table, for. Because I don't think it's Topaz. Jade seems to be the one that just tell everyone on our team to stay focused on their tasks would and not worry about the negotiations. Be against the oh, Galaxy right. Rangers bottom line. I'll do it right away. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Don't call Miss Jade Big Boss in front of her. Or there will be serious consequences. I mean, really serious. Uh, uh, got it. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Director. Oh, I so serious though. Numby! That is adorable. Just completely face planted. I can't do anything with him. Okay. Alright. Moving on to more story. Take the room to the VIP elevator. B what? None of the important I said that backwards, didn't I? Yet. Huh. Looks like the conference won't be starting for a while. Such a bustling place. I think I'll take a little walk around. <laughs> oh, are you hungry, Numby? Hmm, food in the dream. Eh, shouldn't taste bad, right? Toss a uh, potato fries sundae, oat cake roll, uh, float disc burger. Cake roll! Bobby, catch me. <laughs> uh, nope. After eating the oat cake rolls, Numby seems a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Ooh, oops, not to your liking, huh? Sorry. 
I'll treat you to a nice meal once we get back to reality. Oh, my bad. Uh, the family's guard. So many buttons. How many centuries would it take to press them all? Huh. Didn't expect those pooches to actually recycle them all. <laughs> huh? What are these? That's... Scarlet, though. <clears throat> For your safety, please stay away from those objects. For my safety? Are these buttons something dangerous? Yeah. Not exactly. Lately, there's been a prankster in the sweet dream who's been handing out strange button devices to anyone he meets. According to those involved, he said something like, just press this button and all of Pentaconi will explode. Luckily, no one believed him. Still, the Bloodhound family collected these buttons just to be on the safe side. Haven't the hounds caught the culprit yet? Hasn't anyone actually tried pressing it? What will happen if you press it? Hasn't anyone actually tried? I'm sure somebody well, had to try. Perhaps you don't know much about Panacone? All the guests here have one thing in common. They're terrified of death. Anyway, the family will deal with these things. Please kindly keep your distance. Okay. Man, Numbi took the fuck off. Wait, am I actually supposed to... Oh! Oh, is that what they do? That must be what they do if you have her as an ally. Okay. Makes Hard sense that lo off. a looter would be able to find that stuff. Oh, you have another one? Well, you're kind of stuck. Don't oh, he made it out. Me. That is pretty Please nice, stop. but I don't super need that help either. Alright, good job, Numby. Greetings, madame. What can I do for you? Uh, Hello. Well, could you tell me more about the Radiant Feldspar? I assume you are the ambassador of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. It's my honor to assist you. Thank you. The Radiant Felspar is owned by Mr. Odie Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family. Mr. Alfalfa invested a significant amount in building this luxurious airship an Ember era ago, and it has been sailing across the 12 hours of the dreamscape ever since. Oh, so it's owned by old Odie himself. No wonder the ship is so lavishly decorated. Indeed, Mr. Alfalfa has impeccable taste. Only the most prestigious guests are invited by the Alfalfa family to board this airship. What a Please shocker. allow me to continue my introduction. No. The Radiant Felspar had been cruising questions. over the Sea of Dreams in Penaconi for an entire Ember era. But its voyage was temporarily halted due to the recent reverberation. Reverberation? <laughs> Such a formal way of putting it. You're really downplaying the whole thing. That's the point of being a staff here. <laughs> I apologize. Please continue. <laughs> Following the previous reverberation in the sweet dream, the Radiant Felspar had to suspend its voyage temporarily. Thankfully, the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved. However, due to, well, certain special reasons, the Charmony Festival, originally scheduled at the Panacone Grand Theater, had to be temporarily postponed. Uh-huh. So, Mr. Alfalfa suggested relocating the Charmony Festival to the Radiant Felspar, taking this opportunity to announce the resumption of the airship's voyage. Ah, well, that would meet the family's needs and also create momentum for Mr. Alfalfa himself. Quite fitting for a legendary tycoon like him. Thank you for explaining matters to me. Goodbye. Yeah, thanks. So glad I could get that information. Hello? The talent motivation department? Again? Internal review? Will it ever end? 
I, I'm working on a major project. I don't have time to squabble with you guys. I, the way I handled the Urillo case was approved by senior management, and all of the project logs and calls are complete. Can't you check on them yourselves? No. I just don't understand. Why are you so fixated on this minor case and constantly escalating it? I... Seriously, what's your purpose? Sounds exhausting. Why not just hang up? Because she In doesn't have as much traction as you. You handled that project quite well. A little ball of ice in exchange for the astral expresses good Stay. favor. That's not a bad deal for the department. Yeah, I think it is her that he Boot Hill's it's wanting. A while, little Yelena. I've been looking forward to working with you. Never imagined this day would come so soon. Is there trouble? You can tell me anything. Just like old times. Ah, it's been a while, Madam well. Jade. I'm honored to have the opportunity to work with you. You're still so formal, aren't you? Forget about the hierarchy and treat me as your equal. No need for unnecessary titles like Madam. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it might take some time to get used to that. After all, you are a senior. Don't put it that way. Well, now that we're both members of the Ten Stone Hearts, I need you to be at your best. Especially since the upcoming negotiations leave no room for error. As sharp as you are, I'm sure you've figured out the true purpose of this conference, right? I believe old Oti has taken it upon himself to test our limits before the official negotiations between the IPC and Penacony. That's true, and it works in our favor. Do you know why? If we can reach some sort of agreement with old Oti beforehand and gauge our opponent's boundaries, our future negotiations will go much more smoothly. That's the obvious benefit. Exactly. And the hidden benefit is that as the head of the Alfalfa, I thought she technically gave up that jade. That the five lineages Didn't she give up that jade? Not as united as the Odes of Harmony would suggest. Wasn't the family supposed to have it? Did they really just as give it back to her? As the influence of Harmony hasn't completely permeated their core, personal desires will always have their way. Thankfully, influential figures in Penacony haven't entirely suppressed their own desires. And it's they never will. The power struggles within the it's IPC. called humanity for a reason. The supposed all-for-one philosophy shared by the five lineages. It's just a slogan. All for one? My hero well. academia? After the downfall of the Yoke family, old Oti's faction became the dominant force in Penacony. Even if we consider only the succession order... He's the longest serving and most senior among all the family heads. So he's on yes. death's door is what you're saying. That's exactly why we need to handle Is the it really a good idea to agreed upon strategy. team up with him? It's like playing a game oh. of chess, where every move needs to be carefully thought out. Absolutely. The three steps of negotiation. Listen, test, and strike. That's what you taught me. Pretty clear. Although, you seem to have changed the order in the Yarilo case. <laughs> that was based on my personal experience. I, I apologize for interrupting your conversation, but the family head is ready to meet the ambassadors from the Strategic Investment Department. Time to get to work. Let's prepare ourselves. There's somebody else that has the same kind of actor. outfit as Jade. Remember. Our goal is to create an opportunity or at least the same for the kind of like IPC blue and to white. enter Penacony. Aventurine has already made a small opening. And you Who is and it? I, it's somebody on Belba, to too. Wide open. It's the guitarist who's n it's not... No. Right? I'm not crazy. There's somebody... Oh, okay. There's somebody else that has the almost the identical outfit. Well, maybe not identical. It's the feather on the arm that makes me think it's identical. Is there anybody else? If it's somebody that I don't have, then I'm not not gonna not gonna be able to base it off of anything. But I feel like that's the closest one. 
Yeah, that is the closest one. Okay. Let's go! Why did those doors have to... Take so long to open. <laughs> Welcome aboard my I didn't ship, expect you to look Radiant the way you do. Feldspar. Smart and charming ladies. You also don't look that old. Please, have a Ah, uh, there we go. Let's have a the closer look kind of helps. Oh. I wasn't even trying to run, game. <laughs> Welcome aboard, my dear ladies. Forgive me for any lack of attentiveness that might have led to a lengthy wait outside. It's fine. No problem at all, Mr. Alfalfa. It's my honor to meet you in person. You may not be aware, but the book Odi Alfalfa, the biography, is a must-read for all strategic investment department employees. After all, to many, you are the legendary figure who single-handedly built the Panacone economy. <laughs> I expected no less from the ten stone hearts from the strategic investment department. You're definitely skilled in the art of conversation. Mm -hmm. I always enjoy talking to smart people because we don't have to beat around the bush. We can just get straight to the point instead. Since I invited you IPC ambassadors on board, I'm sure you've figured out the topic I'd like to discuss, yes? Yes. The future of Panacone, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Precisely. Those few words represent a terribly complicated situation indeed. Let's take that golden-haired guy who's not showing up, for example. He put in great effort and almost got himself killed. But what was it all for? Just to get them here. Wasn't it eventually to create an opportunity for you IPC to regain control of the precious Astana? <laughs> the wisdom and experience you've accumulated over ten Amber Eras are truly impressive. Let's assume your assumptions are correct, Mr. Alfred. How old is he? How would you respond to the IPC's actions? I appreciate your composure, Miss Jade. You must have witnessed much in your worldly experiences. However, perhaps you don't know much about Penacone. <laughs> Old Oti won't sit idly by when faced with a greedy wolf. Well, at least he knows her. We're, <laughs> we're still sitting idly. Please, go what do you ahead. mean? I'm all ears. <laughs> then I'll be straightforward. I requested this meeting before the official conference to dissuade the strategic investment department from trying to lay a finger on Penacone. If you back off now, you can make a smooth exit and prevent the IPC from losing face during more important negotiations. One of our P-45 executives was attacked and nearly killed in the dreamscape. The IPC can't simply ignore this incident. Moreover, considering the turbulence during the Charmony Festival, Panacone's credibility has taken a hit in the public's eyes. Despite your determined attitude, the issues plaguing Panacone are real, are they not? Yeah, maybe. Don't worry about it. You use the term real, Miss Topaz, but let's not forget that this is the realm of dreams. If you want to succeed here, you need ambition and unconventional thinking. Curious about how I plan to respond to the IPC? Well, I don't mind sharing. My actions will help Panacone take a significant step forward by self-listing and going public. Going public? Public how? If I'm not mistaken, you want to bypass the IPC and go public on a universal scale. Precisely. Instead of watching the IPC gnaw away at Panacone, 
I'd prefer to open the doors of the sweet dream to the entire universe. Starting today, anyone in the cosmos can become a shareholder of the land of the dreams. This is the path of harmony I'll choose. <laughs> that is a good way to do it, though. Imagine how many people would be fine with wanting this to put in shares. This reform should have been implemented earlier, to, but uh, unfortunately, the Oak family were a how bunch much money of blockheads blinded by order. <laughs> Their level of intellectual flexibility doesn't even come close to an old fellow like me. Thanks to the little um, reverberation earlier, the biggest obstacle between me and my reforms has been eliminated. <laughs> the Alfalfa family will publicize the financial results of Sweet Dream Paradise so that the entire universe can see that Despite the catastrophe, Panacone still holds immense potential and opportunities, and that the family remains confident in its future. I'm not much of a business person, but I think that is a pretty good way to avoid hmm. the IPC. Crisis and opportunity are two sides of the same coin. So, you've been waiting for the right moment for Panacone to regain the spotlight. And if Panacone should seize this opportunity to overcome adversity, even if the IPC tries to intervene, every move we make will be scrutinized by trillions of people. Yeah, apparently that's the point. <laughs> now I'm convinced that you've indeed familiarized yourself with my biography, Miss Jade. So, about your next move. Okay. Please, consider it carefully. Why am I stuck watching business meetings? Indeed. We need some time to digest such a wealth of information. I suggest we conclude the first half of our conference, Mr. Alfalfa. Please allow Topaz and me to confer privately for a few moments, and to respond on behalf of the IPC later. <laughs> of course. Take your time, dear ladies. I have a feeling, depending on what Boot Hill had wants, a meeting with the IPC? might screw up. I got this information from a message what sent by the IPC ambassador. He said it was to return the favor. It's not hard to imagine. Panacone today is pretty much like the frontier prison it once was, with external forces casting greedy eyes and the undercurrent of order lurking within. Instead of falling into a situation where they are plagued by both external and internal threats, Panacone would rather take a step back and invite the IPC to negotiate at the table, ostensibly to cooperate, but in reality, to secure more opportunities for their own survival. Well, no what a wonder great they sought time. the mediation from the Astral Express. In your opinion, who should we stand behind? I don't <sighs> think the followers of the Harmony are completely innocent victims in all of this. For reasons unknown, they have a strong desire to smooth things over, which leads to speculation about their motives. Do we really need to keep finding out if about this stuff? either the family or IPC Why can't to we just let them solve their shit on their own? It we did the Celeron. We got rid of the Order. Of let's let's go and do something the else. The efforts of those previous nameless would once again go to waste. Damn it! Well, there you are. Did you rest well? I didn't disturb you since you were in a deep sleep. It feels like I had a really long dream. Where's Himiko? I'll just say that. Even long dreams eventually come to an end. Our adventure in Penacone is... Are you sure, Welt? Because I don't feel After like it. After Anna's dream was shattered, the family branch from the Montour system soon arrived and swiftly took control of the situation. Most members of the Oak family fell unconscious, but fortunately, their lives were not in danger. <sighs> the mastermind behind the plans was confirmed to be Gopher Wood, the previous dream master. But, by the time we arrived, he was dead already. 
And what about Sunday? How did the guests react? What will happen to Pentaconi? He'll face a trial. As for further details, uh, the family would rather not disclose them. Okay, what about Robin? Ultimately, the public perceived the incident as an attack by evil forces targeting the Charmony Festival. They believe the family failed to safeguard the sweet dream, significantly eroding their credibility in the process. Eh. While quite different from the truth, this appears to be the outcome with the least impact. After all, you don't know who's awake and who's pretending to be oh, asleep. Oh, Shelvin, the bartender. Well, they'll open their eyes in the face of danger. Once the danger subsides, they'll embrace the sweet dream again. Here's a toast with three glasses of glory of the trailblaze to all of you. Hello again. How come you're here too? Yeah, it's good to see you all again. Although we might be saying goodbye again after this reunion. When will the Astral Express leave Pentagoni? I don't know. We'll stay a bit longer, but not too long. So, this is our final meeting then? If this is a farewell, then it seems to be missing something. Music? Atmosphere? Ah, maybe a special drink to honor those who are not here. You just made three drinks, well, let's though. Let's see. A mixed drink should be solemn, dignified, and unique. As we'll use it to pay respect to those fallen heroes. To the nameless resting in peace. And to Gallagher. What happened with Gallagher? La Mes de la Thie. Okay. Did Gallagher just leave? Chat with your fellow crew members of the crew. Oh, grab that. Thank you. Oh, it's a sticker. Forgot that that's what those are. I guess we are at the bar, huh? Ready to mix your drink? Oh, not again. What happened to Gallagher? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him since our last meeting at the lounge. Come to think of it, he always did come and go quietly. We used to discuss everything here. But every time he'd leave, I'd realize that I didn't know him at all. Such is the mystery that is Gallagher. I have a hunch. Perhaps he's already fulfilled his wishes and won't be coming back. Well, yeah. Before Let's we mix. start, uh, would you like to talk to your friends? We have plenty of time. No need. All right, as you wish. No need. Huh. I think I have an idea about what drink to make. Would you like it bitter or sweet? It's up to you. Choose the flavor that suits you best at this moment. Uh, sweet. Drowning sweetness. One of the most challenging drinks to make. You don't slight need to make it drowning sweetness. Can result in an overwhelmingly viscous sweet taste. However, you don't need to. With the right ratios, you get a uniquely sweet drink with a lingering aftertaste. Not a bad choice. Let's start mixing. Oh, what? Drowning sweetness. Sweetness? Oh my god. The steps to mix drinks are recorded here. Select the mini wine glass. Okay. Let us continue to the next. Less ice. You're a fast learner. We'll keep going then. Why am I needing to know this? So these are the ingredients for mixing drinks. Then follow the steps and keep mixing. Two dream jam? And one sweet milk cream. Okay. Stir. Oh, it doesn't say stir? Huh? Okay, wait. So it do so I shouldn't stir is what that say is what that meant, right? Dream jam. Okay, I guess no stir. Original uh, origami bird. 
Drannic sweetness. The spirit of freedom will spread far and wide among the stars, and its legacy will be more timeless than a pastoral song. Words always fall short. If you want to bring closure to past events at this lounge, there's no better way than mixing a drink. Okay, so Blend now I can come mix drinks with them. and emotions like? together and stir them well. Through the filter. Of okay, time, well you got pissy when I stirred it. The glass is something to savor. Well, it's done. Here's to the nameless resting in peace, and to my friend Gallagher. The spirit of freedom will spread. Why does it look like her reflection stars, behind her to the right is like more a reflection of her face? Song. It is. We're not accepted by the outside. Why world, does she so have a frontal here. reflection and one day in the back? Our souls will return to the same place. That's weird. Cheers. Why? Uh, guys, let's make our way to the Radiant Felts Bar. I'll wrap things up soon. Let's meet at the apt pool at the stern. Roger, catch you later. Uh, I'm on my way. I'll lead the charge. By the way, what are you doing on the Radiant Felts Bar, Miss Himiko? It's a secret for now. Be patient, you'll find out at the opening ceremony. Hey, I can't wait. Well, I'm pretty sure it'll happen quickly if I walk there. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh. Say goodbye. Oh, are you leaving? Well, then take this with you. Another drink. I've mixed more of this last special drink for you. <sighs> the past shouldn't be forgotten. So I hope it brings back the flavors of Panacone. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure it'll leave a lasting impression. <laughs> if you happen to run into Gallagher, make sure he has a sip too. I know his tastes, and he'll be thrilled. Uh, we will. All right, enough with the heavy stuff. You guys have important things to take Why care of. Why does she have re so frontal reflections in the back? Whether I don't. It's, the it's there on the left. I'm Panacone. blocking it this time. There's still a like, long journey Like why? Ahead. So let's lift our spirits, why? guys. Why? And embark Did towards nobody our think tomorrow. about that? Did nobody realize that? Okay. <sighs> Old Odie is a tricky opponent. I didn't expect him to take the risky step of going public at such a critical moment for Panacone. Indeed. He's definitely bold. It's that kind of boldness that made him the Odi Alfalfa he is today. Still, the outcome is uncertain. Shouting loud doesn't necessarily carry any weight. What about the phone call I asked you to make, Topaz? Ah, they agreed. But it'll take some time before they arrive. Just as it should be. The sweet dew should be served after the bitter poison. <laughs> Looks like we'll be skipping the exchanging apples step this time around. <laughs> now that we're dealing with a greedy merchant, a simple apple wouldn't make a difference. Is it the well, express that I she guess made I the call to? myself in that remark too. Now I'm a bit curious, Topaz. Do you think Panacone is a quality asset? Hmm, yes. Despite its recent calamity, Panacone remains a top quality asset within the cosmos. With, uh, good credit, lucrative potential, and, uh, promising prospects. Well, that's obvious. But what I truly wanted to know is, this project is obviously too bland for your taste, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Venturine. But despite that, you trust him. You even entrusted him with a cornerstone. Something as precious as life itself to finish this gamble. Why are the cornerstones uh, are you so not precious? In the same boat, Miss Jade? Without us playing along, your Jade Stone wouldn't have made it across the border so easily. 
allowing you to see all desires that flow through dreams to gain a bargaining chip in negotiations. That's why she That's wanted to. That's why I'm willing to stake my topaz stone to cover for you. <laughs> it's like one big elaborate game of chess. Once that kid sets his mind to something, nothing can stop him. Not even fate. <laughs> well, at least he's still alive. And that's the best outcome. <laughs> Looks like... Uh, we've strayed off topic, Miss Jade. Should we discuss our next steps? No need. I'll go it alone. Meanwhile, you can go greet our honored guest and wait for my message. Okay. Is that Robin? Huh. She's also here on the Radiant Felt's bar. Yeah, it makes sense as to why she is. Greetings, Miss Robin. I didn't expect to meet you here. Miss Jade? Greetings. The opening ceremony for the Charmony Festival has been moved to the Radiant Felt's bar, so I'm here making some preparations. How about you? Have you spoken with Mr. Alfalfa? I'm actually on my way to meet him right now. Do you know him well, Miss Robin? Unfortunately, I've never met him. I've only heard a few comments from the former head of the Oak family. Mr. Alfalfa is respectable when it comes to business. But in other respects, I can't say the same. Hmm. Okay. Where do you think the future of the planet of festivities is headed? I believe... I don't know. The sweet dream will see its rebirth. Just like the Radiant Feldspar resumed its voyage. The Harmony needs a new direction. Only by bidding farewell to the past can we actually sail into the future. There are no permanent allies or everlasting enemies. So let's both take what we need from this deal. Naturally. Okay. I'm looking forward to your performance. See you at the festival. See you later, Miss Jade. Hmm. I do not think it is the a Ooh, I do not think it's the Astral Express that she was talking about, though. Wait, I saw. Okay, there it is. I was like, I saw a chest in the background of that dude. And I ran right by it. Oh my god. Uh, maybe it's not the Astral Express. Thank Start those second patience, Mr. Alfalfa. Let's continue our discussion. <laughs> Figured out something already, Miss Jade? Hmm. But where is Miss Topaz? Collecting Topaz somebody. Topaz has something else to take care of. You'll be seeing her later. Talks can still continue between the two of us. Is it just me, miss? Uh, your tone sounds very different now. We, she means business now. I need now. to set a good example for my junior. It's not a good habit to be too loose-lipped during negotiations, right? Now we can speak frankly and openly. Do you believe what I said, Odie? You're not the only merchant who has seen the changes in the cosmic market over the past ten Amber Eras. Interesting. <laughs> now that's interesting. Good. It's good to be straightforward. Openness and transparency are my things. So, tell me, what's your next move? Unfortunately, I'd like to speak the harsh truth before laying out my plan. Okay. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. First, your plan won't work. Penacony has no way of sidestepping the IPC and going public. Second, you can't stop the IPC from entering Penacony. We've got all the time and connections in the world to find a way in. Yeah, I wonder we'll keep why. Tearing down and rebuilding this place until the Asdana system gets used to the IPC's ways again. Now, I'm repeating your words exactly. Okay. If you don't want to be a laughing stock and have everyone gunning for you at the official conference, you'd better drop your little pie-in-the-sky plan. I don't 
remember him saying pie in the sky. Oh, interesting. Indeed. You surely have a way with words. Now, I'm curious to know what you have up your sleeve. Mr. Alfalfa, let's not forget that the IPC controls the biggest interstellar publicity platform. More than half the news networks in the universe take their orders from us. Oh, yeah, that would make the it hard to go public. news spreads about Penacony going public, trillions of customers will immediately receive a message like this. The family's protection for Penacony has expired. Any mishaps in the dreamscape could result in permanent brain death. Care to guess how many ways we have to turn alfalfa credits into worthless junk within a measly 24 system hours? Okay. With the entire cosmos keeping a close eye on Penacony, I assure you, it won't be too hard. You really think you can pull that off? Even from Pier Point, as distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. However, so is the if IPC you agree to give up that half Well, I don't want to say the to IPC public, is under the The IPC order. will assure you because they will never jeopardize the interests of the family they're heads not. under your leadership. After all, we also need allies here in Asdana. The IPC can assist Penacony with financing, starting by acquiring 30% equity shares. With our financial support, stabilizing and rebuilding Penacony will be a piece of cake. 30% equity, you say? Who can guarantee you won't want more in the future? <laughs> That's the brilliant part of it all. The uh -huh. answer is simple. No one. There are no guarantees. It all hinges on self-awareness and mutual respect. The APC respect. is the big corporation, pretty However, much, in this world. The board of directors uh -huh. will consider the interests of the family heads to some extent. You're a smart merchant, old Odie. Isn't the whole purpose of this elaborate game to showcase your business acumen and seek more benefits for the family? Why would you it need more benefits, benefits with how old you are? If we both take a step back. And if that's not enough for you, I'm pretty sure that another goal of making Penacony go public is to expand the influence of the Planet of Festivities and attract more customers. I understand your concern, and I have a solution for that, too. Fine. Now I see your sincerity. As the head of the Alfalfa family, sincerity I don't or think I have any bribery to refuse uh, your offer. Blackmail. However, it's not black, as their chosen one, I still need one final answer. Go ahead. I'm listening. When I was a child, I heard the adults recite the tale of the ancient Amberera. About the ascension of Shipe, the Harmony, and the downfall of Enna, the Order. The Order and the Preservation used to be close in ancient times. So, why does the IPC, as a follower of the Amber Lord, seek collaboration with the family instead of aligning with the Order? Yeah, the Order that you the guys are pretty much than you think. following it's suit in anyway. About credits. Everyone's favorite thing and the universally recognized currency among the stars. The IPC has the power to perpetually ensure their value. With each new world integrated into the credit system, the IPC adds another building block to its cause. Eventually, all exchanges, capital, and businesses will operate within a unified monetary system. Uh huh. By then, all planetary developments will be recorded in accounts with well-defined values and the ability for exchange and circulation. And the heart of everything will be Klepoth's credit. Ah, and then the IPC will be able to exert influence over everything. Just Our like the order wants. to establish enduring preservation. So I'm sure you can understand. This dialogue. This universe doesn't need 
two types of order. Hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> well said. Now you've convinced me. All right. Tell me your solution. Let's see if we're thinking the same thing. Then let's continue our conversation. Please, Topaz, invite Sweet Dew to join us at the table. Sweet Dew. Thank you for your presence, Miss Himeko. Please allow me to introduce her to you, Mr. Alfalfa. This is Miss Himeko from the Astral Express, one of the future shareholders of Penacony. Huh? I've heard so much about you, Mr. Alfalfa. It's an honor to meet you as representative of the Astral Express. <laughs> this stunning lady is the navigator of the Astral Express. And apparently wanting to be a it's shareholder? It's a pleasure to meet you. I believe everyone here is familiar with the general contents of the proposal. After this round of financing, the IPC is expected to hold 30% of Penacony's shares. Then, the IPC will transfer 5% of that stake to the Astral Express and recommend Miss Himeko as an independent director to honor the sacrifices and contributions made by the former Nameless to the Land of the Dreams. While this decision isn't finalized yet, we are honored that everyone here recognizes the way of the Trailblaze. Huh. While the Nameless didn't embark on their journeys for fame or fortune, if this is the wish of both the family and the IPC, I will represent the Astral Express and fulfill my duty as a member of the Board of Directors. With only 5% say. The entire crew has agreed to assist in the reconstruction of Penacony. Beyond that, in our future travels, we are committed to bringing the beautiful dreams of the Planet of Festivities to more worlds. Of course, all cooperation is based on one premise. The path of harmony in Penacony must not be distorted again, and such a tragedy must never recur. Okay, after the negotiations, are we done? Yeah, well, we're gonna be done, because that is it for today. Fucking hell! I thought I was finally gonna be free of Panacone. That was a freaking bold face dream. Oh my god! I didn't think we'd have like an hour of biz like legitimate business talks about something like this. This is insane at where this is going. But maybe someday I'll be able to finish this freaking world. I don't know. At least I moved up an equilibrium level. I'll continue leveling people up. I think I'm technically done with all the fights in this. I don't actually know. Uh, I definitely know that I won't be doing... Um, I won't be doing any extra side quests or anything for a while. Or moving this to the weekend. So I still have to figure out a game for the weekend. Like, I don't even know what my game on the weekend is going to be yet, guys. I'm terrible. I haven't done a whole lot of thinking on that. Uh, but <laughs> I'll let you guys know... On Discord and Twitter whenever I uh, figure it out. But I appreciate everybody who showed up today to support me, whether it was chatting or lurking. I am very grateful for that. Uh, I will be streaming again something on Saturday at 2pm Mountain Time. Four hours earlier from now. I don't know. Yet. I'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll do more Honkai. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah. I'll let you guys know as soon as I figure it out. So, thank you guys. Have a good rest of your night. And if I don't see you on Saturday, maybe a future stream. See you guys.